Alrighty guys, so I wanna to talk to you about the Brevetti, the Brevet, I don't know, however you wanna say it. I'm gonna call it the Brevetti, the Brevetti Rucksack. This is the pack that I have been using exclusively for about a year now, so I definitely have a lot of experience with this pack, and overall, I'll just go ahead and say it, I really like the pack. It is a 22.5 liter backpack, so it's gonna have plenty of space for a day. It's definitely not gonna be more of a three-day pack, but that's not what this is designed for. It's designed to be kind of your everyday camera slash lifestyle backpack. So let's go ahead and dive into everything this thing has to offer. So definitely one of my favorite features about this backpack is that it is lightweight, yet you can really stuff it full of stuff. I have a full-size DSLR, I have my DJI Mavic drone, I have my charger in the front pocket, I have my drone controller, MacBook charger, full 15-inch MacBook Pro. I also carried my Manfrotto B-Free tripod, it latches right here to the bottom, my Fujifilm, and a microphone. And I could probably fit more, my sweatshirt was also in there at one point. So it's definitely a versatile backpack, yet retaining a small, sleek kind of design, which I really like. Now on the side of the backpack here, you have a quick access to your camera. And on the other side, you have a kind of like the stretchy pouch. I have my Nalgene water bottle in here, but you can also put like a tripod or a gimbal and then buckle it up here as well. So very, very useful. Up here, there's a zipper where you can kind of put like a wallet or passport. I personally just shove my sunglasses in there. So nice little nifty quick access pocket at the top. In the main compartment, we have this area, which you can really kind of shove a bunch of crap in here and then just cinch it down as much as you need. I have my 15 inch MacBook that I keep in here. And as well, I, I have a Nintendo Switch. I, I don't know why, I just thought it was cool that I could, you know, this, this thing isn't just for work, it's also for play. So I do like it, it's definitely more of a lifestyle backpack. So the front compartment is definitely where this backpack shines. In the very front pocket, which has these magnetic clips, which are really nice, you have this, which is more for like, you know, drone controllers, you have my MacBook charger, I have different like cables and little SD card slots, pen holders. It's just kind of like a good all around anything you wanna shove in here, kind of a pocket compartment, which is really nice. And then behind that one with this big zipper, you have the actual camera compartment, which I talked about a bit earlier. But what's really nice about it is that you can really shove a lot of stuff in here. I mean, these are not small items by any means. And also these things right here, they're Velcro. So you can kind of shove them in there and organize it however you want. So it's definitely customizable to whatever gear you're wanting to shove in here. Now another key feature about the Brevetti backpack and something that I feel like should be included in any backpack that is expecting to carry anything expensive at all is that it has a built-in rain fly. So if I go down here to the bottom, it has this Velcro compartment down here. Pull this out and here is the rain fly so you can take it cover up your camera. <laughs> I don't think I've ever taken this thing out, but just the idea of it, having it, this reassurance is really nice to have. All my gear is gonna be protected. Nothing's gonna get ruined. Awesome feature. And there's a deer. And, there, and there's a deer and a star, which is, I think it, what is that? That adds like 15 horsepower to this backpack. Yeah, well, it's actually, it's, well, actually one horsepower. One, one horsepower, yeah. It's, a, it's an important feature. <laughs> so another great thing about this pack in particular, the rucksack, is that it has this cap buckle here on the side. I don't know if it comes with it, to be honest. I can't remember. It's been over a year since I got the pack. But regardless, it's a really nice feature. So basically, this isn't the lens cap. I don't have the lens cap. I use the Polar Pro Defender. But if I did have a lens cap, I could just take it latch it onto here so I no longer have to carry it in my back pocket or just set it down and lose it. Essentially, you're gonna never lose your lens cap or at least that's the idea with this little cap buckle. It's a nice feature. So another feature that this Brevetti pack is, well, packing is straps. They have a strap for your chest and a strap for your waist. This is a really important feature because it takes a lot of the weight off of your shoulders, which is ideal for any kind of long treks into the woods or anywhere where you're going, you're just carrying the pack all day. It's really nice to have it off of your shoulders. Now, I will say this is kind of one of my only complaints about this backpack is that this tiny little waist strap, I feel like they should have done like a padded strap, kind of like the pad on the shoulder right here. They should have done it for the waist strap. I kind of feel like this is 
kind of pathetic little strap, but it does get the job done. So overall, it's a nice feature to have. Welcome to my teepee in the woods. So I just kind of want to wrap this video up. Overall, I got to say, I really like the rucksack brevetti pack. I think as a day pack, it's kind of just a beautiful mixture of style and functionality. I don't have really too many complaints other than the strap not being quite as thick as I want. One thing that I didn't talk about that it's kind of a cool, neat feature that personally I don't really use that often, but you know, it's here. It's that this camera pouch in here. here let's see if I can uh, demo this live, which I can't, which is great. There we go. I'm gonna definitely do a cut in here. So this kind of camera compartment can be separated from the backpack itself and it becomes its own bag with a handle and everything. So it's just kind of a nice extra feature if you don't need everything in the backpack and you just wanna haul around your camera stuff. So again, I really enjoy the Brevetti Rucksack Pack. If you're interested in looking into it, I'll leave information in the description below. I'm not sponsored by any means. I'm not making any money. I really do genuinely think that this is a nice backpack that I've been using for the past year. So if you guys liked the video, well, drop a like. I do appreciate it. And as always, thanks for hanging.